Hi, my name's Anna Salik from Tea Total. They call me the Tea Lady. Now today I'm going to talk to you about smoking food in your own home. It's an incredibly simple process and I'm surprised that not more people do it because chances are you've got most of the things at home that you need to do it. So what I'm going to do is use Lapsang Souchong tea. Now this is the little 10% magic that we use here because the tea itself already has a smoky flavour and it just imparts a magnificent, magnificent flavour to the food that you put into the smoker and a little bit different from anything that you might have previously used. Now the utensils that you need in your own home are a pan, which has got a lid that fits reasonably well, any size will do, but preferably not one that has too much volume in it. You need a rack that will fit into your pan, and what I like to use is this cake rack here because it fits perfectly into the pan that I've got, although you can use an Asian steaming rack if that's what you've got in your own home. And lastly, you need some tin foil. That's it. Now the food that I've chosen to use today is some salmon, because that's what I'd like to have tonight, and we all know smoked salmon is delicious. Now I've just seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper, but you can put various things on it if you choose. I'm also going to do some mushrooms because they absorb with this lovely soft bottom, they absorb the flavour beautifully in smoked mushrooms. In order to assemble all of this, what we do is we just let Get two pieces of tin foil of a reasonable length. I've preformed these just to save a little time. And you put them into your pan. And make sure that you've got enough so that they overlap the edges here because we're going to fold them over afterwards. Next, you're taking the Lapsang Souchong tea, and I'm just putting two heat dessert spoons or soup spoons and sprinkle that evenly over the base of the tin foil. Then I'm going to take the rack and pop it into the bottom of the pan there because that's going to keep the tea sitting underneath the food so it allows all of the smoke to circulate around the food. Then what I'm going to do is pop in my salmon. And my mushrooms absorb inside down. So you can see here we've well filled the pan. Now I'm just going to pop the lid on and fold the tin foil over top to give a good tight seal and make sure that none of the lovely smoke escapes and setting off our smoke detectors. So what I'm going to do now is put it on the oven. I'm going to put it on high for five minutes. Then I'll reduce the heat to about medium put it on that for another five minutes, and then turn the heat off completely, leave the lid closed, and wait for a further 15, maybe 20 minutes, and the food will be beautifully smoked. So we'll come back and see it after it's finished. So our food's been sitting now for half an hour, 20 minutes, waiting for the smoke to work its magic and cook the food. So all I'm going to do now is unwrap the tin foil, Take off the lid, and voila, we have beautifully smoked food, ready to be eaten now or cold at some future point in time. So all it took were these few simple ingredients that you have in your own home, plus lapsing sushong tea.